here at the anti-aging show. Our first patient. Just getting them as they speak. Let's get um, going. We're here at the wrestling uh, booth and we're going to be starting with um, with Janet. And uh, we're going to do her whole uh, face today. We're going to start with her tear troughs. We're going to move to her cheeks and then we're going to do her uh, upper lip. Um, she's frozen. It's not feeling. Okay. It's not Good. Okay, so let's start with her uh, fine lines, right? Yeah. Okay. So you may feel a little pinch, but you shouldn't feel too much. Okay. So the goal of this injection is to fill up her lower eyelids. And this is a great alternative to doing a to doing a uh, So it's non-surgical eyelid rejuvenation. And we've moved away from doing low lid leproplasties to doing um, uh, eyelid injections and sometimes resurfacing of the lower eyelid with, uh, with a laser. We have a younger um, woman who has very good bone structure but because she's um, aging a little faster because she's skinny so it's nice to be skinny when you're young. When you get older, people don't like it when you're skinny because you age a little faster than anybody who has a rounder face. So here we are trying to make her look um, younger by volumizing her face. And you can see what I've done here is I've injected her lower eyelid and you can see this bag that she had on this side is mostly gone on that side. So we'll just turn her face over a little bit and we'll, re we'll inject. This is Wrestling Fine Lines. The great thing about the Wrestling group of products, Pinch, is that a range of products for different areas, right? And just remember that while we're doing this, we're saving her doing lower eyelid surgery. And you can see that I'm injecting right on bone. So you wanna make sure that you know of somebody doing it who knows their anatomy, and you can see that the bag has gone. You can't change the color that much, but you can change the hollow. So when she's in a bright light, it won't catch the shadow as much. Just be a little bit careful. And what's nice is that if you inject it properly and you're very careful, she shouldn't get a bruise. I'm gonna use some Perlane, which is the biggest product from uh, this group of products. And what it does is it will volumize her cheeks. So what she has is very nice structure, but if you look at her carefully, she's very flat through her cheek area here. This injection is really a lunchtime thing. As you can see, she's very comfortable. I know Janet, she's a little squeamish usually. So the fact that she's not squeamish now means that she must be quite comfortable. I'm putting in one cc. There we go. So you can see now, She's got some nice upper cheek fullness where on this side, she's very flat. What's great about this is it's gonna last um, nine to 12 months. So when it's on the bone, this product lives longer, does very, very well. When you age, you deflate like a balloon, a pop balloon. So what happens here is we're just inflating the balloon, giving her that younger, fuller look. So here you go. If you look at her now, she's got great cheeks. See how she's got nice full cheeks? They're nice and high. And what we like to see in uh, plastic surgery is, we like to see a curve on a woman's face. When you look at her from the side, she's got a higher cheek, she comes in and around. It's called the Augie curve. Uh, so when you look at her, her upper lip, uh, I'm sorry, her upper lip is thinner than her lower lip. It's out of balance. It should be in a ratio of like 1 to 1.68, the golden mean, they say. So I'm just going to um, give her some upper lip, not too much. Just enough to make her look balanced. Okay, so I'm going to give her a little bit of roll. I'll start with a pout. A lot of women like it, and it always hurts in the middle because it's hard to freeze in the middle. It's being so good. 
So we'll give her a little bit of a pout. Just go right into the lip itself. Not too much. She's got a little bit of a line through the side here. We pull the upper line, marionette line. And what I'll do is I'm just going to fill her up a little bit here. A little bit. She also has a start of a nasolabial fold over here. So I'm just going to fill that out a little bit over here. We used to chase our wrinkles and try and inject wrinkle after wrinkle. And now what we do is we inject zones. So we try and soften the zone. So you can see what we've done is we've given her nice cheeks, there you go, softened the nasolabial fold, increase the size of her upper lip to balance it, and given her a little bit of pout on the lower lip. Not crazy, nice and natural. What's nice about it is what you see now is what you end up getting. Good. Any more questions? Just kidding. Okay, perfect. Thank you.